Stories are an amazing thing. They can transmit feelings to you, immerse you in a window to a different world. These stories can come from anywhere, you know, books, films, video games, and of course, what this whole channel's about, anime and manga. So it's no wonder some people pursue a career taking part in bringing these stories to creation. However, no big stories are made with just this fairy tale esque perspective in mind. After all, this is a creator's source of income, so the thought of how much people are gonna give a damn about what you're making is an essential part of it. There are plenty of examples in all media that is just made for money and popularity in mind. The question, however, I wanna bring up today is whether or not that is necessarily a bad thing. Last year I did a video on Tatami Galaxy and the big picture idea of the whole show. However, this show had so much other ideas packed into its short 11 episode run that I just had to talk about it again. The episode I want to talk about today is the second episode simply titled Movie Club. In this episode, our main character decides that the best way to achieve his rose colored campus life, as he likes to put it is to join the movie club. Once he joined, they had him doing the worst parts and it wasn't all that he had hoped for, you know, as is the running theme of the show. However, that isn't what I'm talking about today. What I'm gonna be touching on is the movies that he made during his time in this club. The club was a straight monarchy, not a fucking dictatorship. At the very top was a guy named Masaki a guy with many subordinates following his every command. Or at least, you know, that's the picture that the main character paints during the episode. He had somewhat of a point, however, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Misaki was the director of all the films the club made, and they were usually all just his ideas. The main character, however, did not agree with his style of movies, you know, it was that style that I was talking about earlier, you know, just popularity in mind. So the character, I mean, the main character decides to do something about it and begins making his own movies. These movies, however, as creative as they were, don't get much of a second look from their audience. The only person that really seems to give a shit about what's on screen is the main character's love interest. まあ、しょうがないと思うぜ。映画をみんなが見るものだ。好きでわけのわからないものを作るのは構わんが、観客に見せたいのなら最低のエチケットは守れ。観客の大事な時間を奪った上にマスターベーションまで見せられるのは構
While discussing manga ratings, which is something the magazine company monitors very closely, one assistant says that you can't draw a good manga by simply thinking about its popularity. He says that he believes manga is a fine art and should be written as such. Another assistant is quick to point out what I did earlier, that these artists need money. But one of the main characters stops him and says the following. でもそれは自分たちに才能がないから。昔今も in the end of the day, making something meaningful, something generations after us will remember, is very hard to do and requires a lot of skill. However, it can be achieved in a lot of ways. Take something like Death Note, for example, since we're talking about Bakuman and all. This manga, in a lot of ways, is just your classic anti-hero story that has interesting enough questions to ask, but certainly nothing that hasn't been asked before or is insanely complex. Does that mean it's not creative? No! While it is a classic tale through and through of an anti-hero, they added some super supernatural elements to spice things up and add some mystery to it. By the end, you end up with this roller coaster of a show that, while it didn't change my life considerably, did entertain me quite a lot. I respect Death Note for that. As much as I respect insane art house anime like Cat Soup or Angel's Egg. In the end of the day, there are many ways to create art, and none of them are wrong. If at the end of the day, it speaks to someone out there, you know, whether that be one single person in the middle of nowhere or the whole world, it is worth making. Penguin Highway is originally a story by the same guy who wrote the Tatami Galaxy novel. However, instead of focusing on the college struggles, this time he focuses on the struggles of childhood. It's a story that really makes you reminisce by how well it captured the childhood mind and experience.